Hey gang, I'm Thomas Kish, the founder of Cashflow Experts. I'm an expert in the field of business credit, and I'm proud to say that our company has helped thousands of people get millions of dollars of new business funding using our educational programs. There's been a lot of fear about credit in the markets these days. Some of it's hype, but some of it is very true. You may have heard about banks slashing credit limits, closing down personal credit cards, so I want to tell you what you can do to protect your personal credit. First of all, most people are a little fuzzy about what kind of credit scores are good or bad and what actually goes into the final calculations that determine your FICO credit score. Well, let's take a look. It used to be that a credit score of 680 was pretty good, but that's not the case anymore. Your credit needs to be better than ever before in history to be treated fairly. And even if your credit score is above 750, you can't have any kind of negative items reporting against you or excessive inquiries on your report. If your credit score falls below 750, you're now in the bottom 60% of the public and you will pay more for having poor credit. Here's a bit of a clarification on how your credit is scored. No one knows the exact secret recipe used by the major credit rating bureaus, but this is a good representation of what affects your credit score. I call this recipe the credit pie. Inquiries will affect your credit. There are hard hit inquiries and soft hit inquiries. A hard hit inquiry is not good. This is when a mortgage broker, car dealer, or bank pulls your credit. It only lowers your credit score a little bit each time, but most importantly, it leaves a clue to your recent borrowing activity. A soft hit inquiry is okay. This is when you pull your own credit. You can do this as much as you like and your credit will not drop because it is important to monitor your credit score and review the accounts reporting in your name. The length of time you use credit is also important. This is called your credit history. The longer your credit history and the length of time you've been using credit, the better. You should carefully teach young people how to use credit before they leave home if you want to help them build a good credit history as soon as possible. The next ingredient in the credit pie is available credit. When you add up the limits on all your personal credit cards, what is your total available credit? The more credit you have available, the better your credit score will be. That may surprise some people, but the more unused credit that you have available to you, the better your credit score is going to be. The next issue is debt. How much of a balance do you carry on all your personal credit cards? We're talking about revolving debt. A single real estate mortgage or auto loan is not nearly as damaging to your overall credit score as large amounts of unsecured revolving debt carried on your personal credit cards. Real estate debt is long-term debt that's collateralized by an asset, so it doesn't have that much of an impact on your credit score. Most of your attention right now should be focused on how much credit card debt you personally have. In the past, we used a simple scale to see how much credit card debt was too much. If your amount owed was less than 30% of your credit limit on all your cards, it was a green light to new lenders. 30 to 60% debt was a yellow light, and 60 to 90% debt carried on all of your personal credit cards was a red light. In today's much stricter credit markets, any debt above 30% of your available credit is a red light. So you should focus on removing your personal credit card debt first. The final issue that affects your credit more than any other in the credit pie is negative character marks on your credit. And luckily, this is the area that you do have the most control over with our credit clearing information. You really can remove things like inquiries, late payments, old student loans, medical bills, child support, foreclosures, and even bankruptcy if you use our tools and instructions. Remember that credit clearing is your right as a consumer guaranteed by the Consumer Fair Credit Reporting Act of 1971. So take action today and win back your good credit.